Reverend, you got your work cut out for you. Now it's just you and Kelly. How does that change the race? Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. It's great to be here with you and happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans. We owe a debt of gratitude to them and their families for all the sacrifice for our freedoms. Uh, listen, the remarkable thing is that somebody like me is even running for the United States Senate. Uh, I'm a kid who grew up in public housing down in Savannah, Georgia. I'm one of 12 children. I'm number 11 and the first college graduate in my family. I know personally the importance of good public policy because I'm the product of Pell Grants and low interest student loans. Somebody provided for me a ladder of opportunity so that I could create a profitable, a life, uh, a productive life for myself and my family. And so uh, I'm running for the U.S. Senate to give ordinary people a chance. They're hearing that message here on the ground in Georgia, uh, which is why our campaign has such momentum and we intend to prevail come January 5th. But let's be honest, she's going to raise about a gazillion dollars, not just from Georgians, but people around the country are watching this race. A lot of big money from New York, Wall Street that want to see a divided government. How do you combat the amount of money they're going to get? Oh, if money could purchase this seat, Kelly Leffler would have had it by now. She's the wealthiest member of Congress. She spent millions of dollars uh, on ads on television uh, during this race. Uh, I got in this race. There were 21 people in my race, 10 Democrats, five Republicans. They listed our names alphabetically because my last name is Warnock. Uh, I was the kid, if you will, next to the last kid in line. And yet we finished first. And I think that's because <laughs> voters are hearing the message. They're concerned about their health care. Uh, I'm hailing from a state where we've had eight hospitals closed. I was down in Cuthbert, Georgia a couple weeks ago, and those folks are deeply concerned that their hospital is closed in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, I hear Kelly Leffler talking about everything else, and that's what she intends to do in this race, except the fact that she's trying to get rid of their health care in the middle of a pandemic. I think that's terrible news, and uh, I, I intend to stand up for ordinary people, not ask the question which politicians are winning or losing, the ways in which too many of our families are losing, and I intend to go to Washington and stand up for ordinary people. So what are you going to do in the next six weeks? What is your ground game? Are you trying to convince voters to change uh, their view? Are you trying to register voters? What are you going to do? Oh, we've been registering voters uh, for years here in the state. People are watching what's happening in Georgia. And what they need to understand is that this is not magic. This is hard work. We've been on the ground for years, registering hundreds of thousands of new voters in the state, trying to give people a voice. And as a candidate, I intend to help people to see themselves in the conversation. Too often uh, in Washington, the politics is about the politicians, which of them is winning and losing. And what I intend to do is to center the concerns of ordinary people, the people that I know as a pastor uh, that I've counseled in my church. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the waiting room of a critical care unit uh, watching a family concerned not only about their loved one languishing between life and death, but the impact of this uh, on their ability to thrive. And so I think all of that gets lost uh, in the conversation, and uh, which is why I'm running. Uh, I feel that this message is resonating with ordinary voters. Uh, I think there's a reason why we finished uh, so strong in that part of the race, and we intend to uh, win this seat, but more importantly, win the future uh, for kids like me who are in disaffected communities in rural Georgia trying to figure out how they embrace the American dream uh, that's slipping away from too many at this time. Uh, I, I, I would be deeply honored to represent the people of Georgia. Jamie Harrison in South Carolina shared much of your message with voters. He raised a ton of money <coughs> and he lost. Congressman Jim Clyburn just said that slogans like defund the police hurt his campaign. You have very clearly said you oppose defunding the police. But are you worried that you're getting lumped in with people who want to do that, people who are in districts where that works for? No, I'm not. Uh, the truth is I, I'm not interested in defunding the police. Uh, maybe Keller Leffler is, since she keeps talking about it. Uh, I'm interested in the concerns of ordinary people. It's clear that she wants to defund their health care. Uh, she's been in Washington for several months. 
She's done a really good job protecting her own portfolio when she heard about the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, she profited in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, meanwhile, Georgians have not seen real relief. Businesses are seeing a narrower profit margin. Our small businesses especially are struggling when there was relief. They saw Shake Shack and Ruth Chris and the L.A. Lakers at the front of the line, small businesses at the back of the line. And I, I think she'd rather talk about all of these things because I imagine it must be difficult to explain why you want to get rid of health care in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, I think that we ought to be strengthening the Affordable Care Act. We ought to make sure that our seniors don't have to choose between prescription drugs uh, and food on the table. And we ought to make sure that when our kids finish college or technical or vocational school, that the debt isn't so uh, oppressive that they have a mortgage before they have a mortgage. That's a drag not only on their personal economy, but on the Georgia economy. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.